makers of Filter Tip Terrapin, the cigarette whose mildness makes a wonderful difference in your smoking enjoyment, present the hilarious new game, Make Me Laugh! Make me laugh. And tonight our comics are going to attempt to break up four prominent personalities, each of whom will be playing as a proxy for one of you at home. Rocky Graziano! Kim Hunter! Mitch Henderson and Greta Tyson. And here are tonight's comedians, Louis Nye, Orson Bean, and Joey Carter. And here is your Make Me Laugh host, Robert Q. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> we all go up and smoke. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Make Me Laugh. You have just met our three comics who obviously wanted to get the show off with a bang. We'll meet our first contestant in just a moment, but let's have a few words first about mildness in a cigarette. The special kind of mildness in filter tip tarry. Mildness, mildness, mildness. Thank you. Mildness makes the difference in a filter tip carriton, filter tip carriton. Mildness makes the difference. And when you're a steady smoker, how that mildness counts. You don't smoke just one cigarette. You smoke pack after pack, day after day. That's why Territon's special kind of mildness is so important to you. Mildness that comes from good tasting mild tobaccos and a filter that really filters. Mildness that makes Territon easy to get along with. Your taste stays fresh, clean, wide awake. You get more enjoyment pack after pack, day after day. Try Territon's, you'll see. Smoke filter tip Territon, filter tip Territon. Mildness makes the difference. That is the name, filter tip Territon. Why don't you try them and see what a wonderful difference mildness makes. <laughs> now then. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have a whole lineup of celebrity guest star contestants, each one of whom will be playing for one of you at home who sent in a proxy card. Our first contestant is the world-famous author, actor, raconteur, and sportsman, Mr. Rockard Graziano. Hi, Rock. Well, how is Martha Ray's favorite goomba? Oh, fine, Bob, just fine. You look pretty good, kid. As a matter of fact, uh, wh what's up? I hear you've been refereeing lately. Yeah, I'm the third guy in the ring now, and uh, I watch the other guys catching the beatings. <laughs> Does this mean that you have completely disregarded your great activity in the art of Thespis? Oh, no, 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 Bob. I just finished the picture with... You knew what I meant. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> all right, all right. Tell about the acting. <laughs> Gee, I should pull the... Uh... Uh, tell about the actor. Go uh, on. I, I, I done a picture with Josh Gabor. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm doing a dramatic picture named Buddy O. Buddy O. Uh -huh. Looks pretty good, a drama picture. And uh, I hope uh, the actor studio is looking at me because... Uh, I hope so. I hope uh, Cary Grant sees the picture. You'll oh, be good. great. <laughs> All right, Rob. We want to get to the show now. Uh, you know what you have to do. We'd we'll ask you now to pick one of those cards out of the proxy file oh. over there. <laughs> a couple of stragglers just walked in. Would you go on over there, pick a card out of the, of the proxy file, and we'll find out who it is that you're playing for tonight. Rocky reaches in. Penny Peterson has helped. And let's see who it is, Rock. Betty Cutler. Mrs. Mrs. Betty, Betty Cutler Cutler of the Bronx, New York. Okay. That's who you're playing for. You're all set to go. You know the rules. Yeah. All right, up you go, Rock. Rocky Graziano says, make me laugh, Joey Carter. What do you suppose? Somebody stole my clothes. Hey, Rocky, you ever see this kind of guy on the beach? He walks out, he says, where's the girls? No girls? Let's go into water, fellas. <laughs> I have a song for you, Rock. Hey, you know, Rock, how many fights did you have? Mike, that's more than Nelson Maxwell had. <laughs> Rocky 
Graziano, a champ in the world of sports. He never lost a fight, maybe one, but he never lost his shorts. <laughs> I used to be a fighter myself. I had to give up. I had bad hands. The referee kept stepping on him. <laughs> Let me put it this way, Rocky. You do a lot with kids, right? I have a little kid, seven pounds, eight ounces. Worried about him. He's 15 years old. <laughs> I think he did something. <laughs> Let me try it this way, Rock. Uh, <laughs> there you go, though, Joey. One thing, Rock. One concession you must make to the boys is you've got to look at them. You've got to look at them. All right, Louie Nye is up next. Come on, Louie. Well, Rock, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take the opportunity at this particular time to welcome this great person of the fistic world. <laughs> and tonight here in the studio, we also have a, new, a young kid, and I want you to give him his blessing uh, on this particular night. <laughs> I'm going to bring the kid out here now. Is, uh, get ready, kid. His name is Monty Kipper. Hi, Rock. How are you? <laughs> oh, well, what I've been doing out on the West Coast is more or less of a... This is one that's been kind of effective. It's called a right gash blurb. <laughs> that's pretty good. Then I usually follow up by looking up as if something's happening up there, and then I come back with a crown burgo. <laughs> And it's been working out pretty good. <laughs> it's so nice to talk to you. <laughs> and you know, Ron, I was thinking that when you used to do this kind of a thing that I thought was pretty cute. <laughs> you know which way I do it now? This way. <laughs> it's all been working out. <laughs> That's a good workout. All right, let's try it out with Orson Bean. Orson? Hello, Rocky. I've admired you for many years, both as a fighter and as an actor. I've done very little fighting in my life, but I did have a fighter in my family, my uncle Ordway from Quincy, Massachusetts. He was known professionally as Killer Bean. Did quite well at it. And he became the fighting favorite of two continents, Greenland and Africa. <laughs> I have a big surprise for all the people sitting downstairs. The balcony is loose. <laughs> the closest I ever got to fighting Rocky was at Harvard. See, I went to Harvard and I almost joined the Harvard boxing team, but I couldn't quite make it. I, I just couldn't go for the Harvard uniform. I mean, tweed trunks. <laughs> I think the Tweed Trunks got him. Let's find out how long Rock did last. Glenn Riggs? In the third round, <laughs> 158 seconds. Oh, boy, that's pretty darn good. 158 seconds means $158 to your proxy player, Mrs. Betty Cutler of the Bronx, New York. Congratulations. And Rock, for you, with our compliments, many thanks, and a carton of filter tip tarrytons. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.